Hey, everybody. Uh, it's Mr. Stafford, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the plan for return to school for philosophy class, philosophy class. So um, this is a, a message I'm sharing with all my students, regardless of, of which class it is that I'm talking about. Um, and I want to just assure students and parents that my goal is to provide the highest quality and most engaging ed educational opportunities and experience to all my students, um, whether they are in person or continue on distance. Um, they are going to be equally deserving of my attention and considered in my planning. So I don't know exactly all the details of how that's going to work. It's, it's kind of what we're all uh, scrambling to kind of figure out. Um, but I want you to rest assured that I, I will be um, committed to all of my students, whether they are in the classroom with me or whether they remain on distance. Um, so I just want to go over a little bit of what I what I am thinking in terms of how philosophy is going to go. And just a reminder that in this class, the assessments are really aimed at measuring growth and engagement. Those are the two uh, goals for this class. And so these are our grade categories. They have been all semester and these aren't going to change. And the way that I do assessments is not going to change. It's not going to change for the kids who come back. It's not going to change for the kids who stay online. So I'm gauging and assessing engagement. Uh, based on exit tickets and seminar participation and meaningful reflection. Um, so those are things that we're already doing. We're going to continue doing that. Blog entries, right? Um, a little bit more depth in the thinking is what I'm looking for in blog entries. We've been doing that. We're going to continue doing that. Content literacy. We take a test at the end of each unit that, that, that shows me that you've been engaging with the ideas and kind of understand what we are learning. Uh, we're going to continue with that. Your final project is the website and uh, some reflection and connection between each of our major units of study. We're going to continue with that. Uh, and finally, your growth reflection paper, just like we did uh, last year at the end of the semester. I'm going to expect a, a thoughtful, in-depth uh, reflection on your learning this year as well. So emphasizing your growth in, in that paper. So all of this is the same. It's going to remain the same. I'm not going to not going to move the goalposts or, or change anything in terms of assessments and expectations. Um, I just want to continue focusing on student growth and student engagement. So one of the challenges for us is going to be uh, this is going to be for all teachers is, is how to work concurrent instruction. So what we know is that students will be joining the class via Zoom. Um, I plan to use discussion groups uh, kind of like we have so smaller groups and and um, it, it may be that I have a group in-person group and an online group, depending on um, the size of my online group. And that while one is reading uh, and preparing for a discussion, the other is having the discussion and vice versa. Uh, but I want to make sure that my distance learning students have as much opportunity to engage in the conversation as my in-person students do and vice versa. Um, my office hours will be available to any student who comes in to, to needs to come and see me. Um, and that can be done in person or via Zoom. Um, the district is working to get us all of the cameras and microphones and extra monitors that are going to be necessary to make sure that we can provide as rich of an experience for our in-person students as we can for our online and again, um, both ways. So I, I want to make sure that you know that I'm committed to doing my best to make sure that every student continues on uh, to be able to engage with the content. So there's a lot of questions that, that I don't know how to answer yet, and we'll kind of figure out as we are working through this, but please feel free to reach out and ask questions if you have them. Um, if I can't answer your questions, if they're not directly about my course, I would recommend that you uh, ask admin, um, but I can point you in the right direction of someone who can answer your question. All right, let me conclude by saying I've just, uh, I've just really enjoyed uh, this group of students this year in philosophy, there's been a lot of uh, thinking and engaging and conversing and, and hopefully uh, growth as well. Uh, and I'm looking to finish strong. I think I'm excited about our last couple of units after spring break. And whether you are uh, sitting in class with me or continue on in Zoom, I think you're going to find it to be an engaging and um, enlightening, hopefully, experience for these last couple weeks. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions or comments. And uh, have a great weekend and good luck making your uh, choice. Bye. Take care.